I cannot support it. Cannot. It just would be, you know, as it stands right now without adequate funding and staffing, it would be, it would be a joke. Public Health Director James Gillen is finally giving his opinion on legislation aimed at legalizing medicinal marijuana on Guam. He says Bill 215 can work and he can even get behind any means to alleviate people's pain. However, it's the regulatory burden that has him opposing the measure as proposed. And we don't think uh, that we're really up to the job. One, because the bill doesn't allocate any funding to get this, this program off the ground. Um, it, yeah, I, I suppose it assumes that from the fees that we would collect for the certificates that we, we would give to patients or to their sponsors, that somehow that would, that would pay for the cost of the program. But I'm not yet even able to determine what that cost is going to be. Among the duties of the director within this bill includes establishing a seven-member advisory board, along with promulgating rules that include considering applications for registry identification cards and defining the amounts of cannabis that is necessary to constitute an adequate supply. In his testimony, he says passage of Bill 215 would appear to contradict and violate the Guam Uniform Controlled Substances Act since cannabis is not recognized as having any medicinal value because it will still be listed as a Schedule One drug. But it's not just regulations he's concerned about. We're sending some public health messages here to people that, you know, we don't want you to smoke tobacco, but it'd be okay to smoke marijuana. Gillen further adds issue with vulnerable populations and children getting access to the drug and hopes to have regulatory capacity to keep the quality of the product safe. He ultimately does not believe the bill will pass anytime soon, but will eventually in time, as 58% of the states are in favor of not just legalizing the drug for medicinal purposes, but altogether across the board. The upside, Gillen says, is although public health was not consulted, he is willing to work with the bill's author, Senator Tina Mooney Barnes, to fix it. It is an emotional issue, and the governor understands that. He's very, he's very concerned about that, that part of it. He understands the pain and the suffering. He, he really would be in favor of some, this kind of thing if the regulatory issues uh, were resolved. The Guam Medical Association, meanwhile, continues to oppose the legislation. As GMA spokesperson Dr. Erica Alford says, the group's testimony will fall in line with its release when the bill was first introduced in October. The GMA believe Bill 215 has caused confusion in the community, adding the diagnosis and treatment of diseases should be left to train medical professionals and not be legislated. GPD spokesperson Officer A.J. Balahaja tells KUAM the department will wait if and when Bill 215 becomes law to provide any comment. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.